Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the Let's Play Infinity Blade video series. Uh, this is video two of the series, and I'm picking up where I left off in the previous video. I'll throw up a link for you. Uh, I'm just collecting some bounty from after uh, my victory of over the last minion I faced. So I'm uh, in this video going to be going over some more aspects of of the game as they basically introduce them to us. There's still some more stuff to familiarize ourselves with. Ourselves with uh, one would be super attacks and then uh, magical attacks as well. Those are two big things, big components of the game that we'll be going over shortly. Um, so now we're just actually entering inside the castle for the first time, sort of. I mean, it's not, you know, it seems pretty airy collecting some of these treasure bags. You always want to look out for those because they're hidden. Sometimes you don't quite see them. You really have to look. Take a couple seconds when you can. Uh, and as well, we're entering out here. This is kind of a side path you can choose to go down. You don't have to fight here, but um, it's good for experience. And obviously you see there's a chest and some, some serious loot I'm collecting. Of course, this guy's got a... Uh, a rod stuck up his ass. He doesn't want me to get to that chest and really no introductions. He just starts slaughtering me. So, all right, here's where I'm going to start showing this prick who's boss. See my nice dodge skills. Got my dancing shoes on. Um, you can see there I'm only doing each hit was six damage. So this being the first bloodline, you really don't do a significant amount of damage. But again, the enemies are mostly level one. So it doesn't take much damage to kill them. That there, that I just did, that's a super com or super combo, super attack. That little, um, it's blacked out now, but in the left corner, that's the that's your super attack, and you can do that at any point in a fight. Um, but it has to be full. It has to be blue, so that that fills up uh, while you're fighting. Uh, and you can you can use it, and it automatically stuns the the enemy, stops them in their tracks. So even if they're attacking you, and they're about to hit you, and you push your super attack, it'll stop them. And that's a great opportunity to, to uh, deal out some serious damage. Um, you can see here, gathering more XP, and that's the first item I've mastered: the steel helm. So I'll show you basically what you do when you master one. First, I went up a level, so you get two points every time you go up a level. You get an additional point for every item that you master. So this is one of the incentives for mastering items, is that you can then salvage that extra point gained and you put it into your attack or your health or your magic or whatever you please. Um, as well, you can see the bonus there at the bottom. It says Life Drop Plus. Uh, certain items that you have will have that bonus. Um, and there's three different bonuses which I'll be covering later. Uh, this is the store. They have all the items and they organize them by what type they are. So that's the helm I've mastered. I'm gonna just buy... Eh, yeah, uh, this one I can afford. So I'm gonna buy this monstrous thing. And I'm gonna sell this other one because when you master an item you can sell it for, for more money than if it wasn't mastered. So, and I don't really need it. This one is a superior quality helm, so I'll use that. Um, so getting back to what I was talking about with the life drop, uh, that's, uh, that's one bonus. Uh, you have either, either bonuses that you can use, like XP gain, um, there's gold drop, and there's item drop. And basically, this is, depends on how you want to play the game, because you choose which items to use, and, and you see which bonuses they have. So if you want to get more XP, you can choose an item that gives you XP gain. Or if you want more gold, choose one that has gold gain. Um, and we'll see with this fight right here. It should, it should be introducing us to the magic element of the game. Yes, hopefully. I'm taking a beating from this guy. This is intentional. I'm intentionally letting him get some good swings in. 
you know, make him feel better about himself before I absolutely destroy his face. Mega hit, hit. If you get combos, if you string together some attacks, you get you deal out more damage, like mega hit, ultra hit, super hit, etc, etc. So here's the magic, the magic button on the opposite side of the super attack. So when it's fully charged, like you read there, you can use it at any point. Um, and depending on what ring you're wearing, the rings are what uh, tell, give you the magical attributes. So this one I'm wearing, it's, it's Shattered Circle, and it does it only does ice damage. You can get rings that do multiple spells, but this one's just ice. And as you saw, you basically draw a seven, or, or it looks more like a, a half square, and that'll deal out the, or cast the spell. Uh, some some of these minions you face, they'll be resistant to certain elements and super weak against others. So this guy, you know, ice might be really effective on him, whereas uh, lightning or fire or venom have little to no effect at all. So you have to. You, that's one of the things when you go to fight a monster and you click the info, it'll tell you those those uh, weaknesses or strengths in terms of the elements. So gathering some more XP, of course. Ah, oh, yes. My good wooden shield. Shattered Circle, I'm getting close to leveling that. Um, now I mentioned earlier uh, about the, the XP gain and stuff like that just before I started this fight. I didn't uh, finish that thought. There's three levels for each bonus. For instance, if you have equipped an item that has, um, say, item drop, it'll be either item drop plus, plus plus, or plus plus plus. So essentially, if you have one plus, you'll get you'll find more basic items um, uh, than if you were to have item drop plus plus plus, and those will be more frequent and better items. So when you once you start getting equipping better quality items you'll be able to find even better items if you have that bonus enabled all right so this punk he is in my way on the bridge i don't like that it's thinking about using potion here but i don't really need it because this guy is about my size and he doesn't uh it doesn't intimidate me too much However, this actually, you have to, to watch out. Some of these guys that are your size uh, can often deal out a lot of damage, and they're much quicker than than those that are three and four times your size, uh, like the one I just fought previous to this one. Um, and so I actually en enjoy fighting the larger ones when I can, because you, since they're a tiny bit slower uh, at times, you have more more time to, to predict which way they're going to move and then you can dodge in the, the direction you need to avoid getting hit. Um, so I'm just going to finish up this punk, show him who's boss, that's me, I'm the boss. And pretty pretty nice, I like some of the cutscenes, uh, they're, they're different, obviously you saw there I knocked that guy off the, uh, off the bridge with my trusty wooden shield, I'm collecting again more XP. Love myself some XP. And I've mastered Shattered Circle. So what you're gonna see me do next, obviously, uh, is start to think about getting a new ring, you know? I don't, uh, you don't want to sit on a mastered item because then you're not gaining, it can't gain any XP. And if an item isn't gaining XP, then you lose you don't get to put that XP into your level, which is fine if you really want, but it just it slows your progress towards leveling up. So, uh, and that's bad because then your character suffers because you're not gaining uh, attributes uh, or, or skill points to put into your attributes. So, I'm gonna go with the Ring of Flame. You know, I've been doing uh, ice damage, but uh, it's time to bring the heat. Alright, so that's it for this uh, second video. Um, uh, look out for video number three coming uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, that'll that'll delve us further into this this castle, battling some some more minions and finding our way to the God King. So stay tuned, and I'll check you check you guys out later.